All right. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Where are the brothers coming to you from the J.M.S. Campbell in the church? Now, before we get started with this lesson, we want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations to your hopeful let's be pushing the truth. All right. Now, as you can see through Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, that the whole world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. Okay. His true names are Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Again, okay. Hey, we're back at it with another lesson. And in today's lesson, you know, we're just going to get into how, you know, Jake, which contains you um, so-called Negro, Lat Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, all right? You guys are are in a, um, a, a deep sleep, okay? And it's of our Lord, man, because what? The Lord, he don't love everybody, okay? He put his own people to sleep, man, two-thirds of his people to sleep, all right? But um, without further ado, you know, if you bros didn't have anything to say, we're going to get right into it. All right, this is uh, Mark chapter 4, verses uh, 9. And he said unto them, He that have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were, they were, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without all things are done in parables mm -hmm. and, and with these parables man hey a lot of you jace out there do not understand whatsoever man mm -hmm. okay here it is you know the through the simplicity of the scripts you guys do not understand hey you ain't supposed to be getting lineups hey you ain't supposed to be eating crab you know shrimp and lobster right okay things towards that nature all right that's the simple things to, to other people man which lord willing we be a part of that number the hopeful let but as for you people, you guys can't understand that, man. That's why you guys are stuck, you know, within the society and, and trusting Esau, man. That's another reason why you guys just can't get right because you guys just don't understand the true meanings of life, man. Yeah. Okay? This is life, man. Okay? You know, the Lord breathed the, the word of life in, into you because we was once dead too. But through the mercy and grace of Yahweh by Shemiah Yahweh Shah, hey, we're able to understand, man, which is a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing if you was in a dark for so long and now you can see something. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? For example, if you was in a dark cage and it was just dark the whole time, but someone came with that candlelight and you could just see what's on the walls, you know, what you're walking on, you know, a, a, a couple, you know, distance ahead of you. That's a that's a good thing. That's a great thing. All right. But you guys are just stuck in your darkness, man. You can continue on. All right. When you look into that word mystery in the Greek. <laughs> It goes into mysterion, which means secrets confided to the godly and not the ungodly. So you two thirds, you don't go into the laws like the brother says about certain foods, about not lining up your head, about getting tattoos. Y'all black as hell still getting tattoos, man. OK, you know what I'm saying? Still in that black culture. So our people, they don't understand the mystery. They can barely under they can barely read these. The scriptures talk about is Israel a homeborn slave. They, these are the same Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are staring at slavery mindset, you know. So, but continuing on, it says, <clears throat> Math, uh, this is uh, Mark chapter 4, verses 12. That seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing that, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time. They should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. So the Lord didn't want all of Israel. That lets you know that God doesn't love everybody. He doesn't even mm -hmm. want two thirds of his people to get the word. It's repetitive through the Bible. So he doesn't love everybody. I mean, if you have ears to hear, you will understand that. Mm -hmm. Then the scripture says what? Perceive. All right. And not to perceive. No, no, any other thing out there, man. All right. No, to perceive the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Yahweh Shah. Yeah. All right. This is what's going to keep you going. This is what this is what's going to keep you living, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because what we already know the the judgment day is coming. Mm -hmm. The missiles. Okay. A lot of you just going to be seeing apparitions. A lot of you people just going to see your, your your family members die right in front of you. Your loved ones right in front of you, man. Okay. But if you want to escape these things and be safe. You need to perceive the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah and understand them, man. That's right. And if you lack understanding, pray. Okay? Okay? St starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, they've been pushing the name of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Okay? So the name is out there. 
All you got to do is believe, be humble, and pray. All right? Uh, you got it up. Fine. I, I just have a quick uh, scripture. This is uh, Baruch um, chapter 2 and verse um, 30. For I knew that they mm. would not hear me mm. because it's a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, which that goes into the elect. But majority of you um, Israelites, which consists of you two-thirds, you're not going to be able to perceive this truth, man. All right? Why? Because as the brothers mentioned, you will reject it, man. All mm -hmm. right? You you can't. You you refuse to hear. You refuse to regard and come back to your how about Shem Yahweh Shah. All right? And it was given. Um, to the prophets, but also the elect, the 144,000, as well as the one third. Okay. Con. Yeah. And that's a beautiful thing because imagine, um, you know, if you tried to force upon Jake to, to turn somewhere like the, the heavenly father, Yahweh by Shimei on Shah, imagine how hard that is. That's how stiff net our people are. All right. If you physically tried to grab their head and try to turn it and like, yo, see, see all even power, see the ways of life, man. But they cannot just see it. The only thing they see is the carnality that's in front of them. They can't turn back. Right. They're stiff neck. Okay? They're hard headed. All right? Um, was there any more on that? Um, <clears throat> God, it's all good. God. You got anything, uh, Anna? Let's continue this more because we still got some meat on this thing. This is Mark 4. And 13. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables. Verse 14, the sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown, by when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that is sown in their hearts. And we've seen mm -hmm. that yep. as a testimony. We've seen that three weeks in a row. <laughs> when we had Apostle Ramla, the la not Apostle Ramla, Apostle Carl, excuse me. When Apostle... Apostle Carl has been in our camp. Apostle Ramla has been in our camp before. Apostle Ramla, through the Spirit, has been with our camp for a while. Apostle Ramla. Apostle Ramla, excuse me. And basically, there was a guy that came up to camp, and he was filled with different doctrines. Okay? He was filled with different doctrines, and Satan was totally messing with him. Then we had one week where a Jake came up. He had two white girls. He was obviously on a lot of drugs and alcohol. He couldn't, he couldn't perceive the word. I kept bumping into brothers. And then, you know, this week, we had a guy that was listening to the word for a minute. And then some women, some masculine women, came up to the, uh, distract him. So mm -hmm. th these, these scriptures are faithful and true because they give um, an understanding to how some people, hey, maybe through the graces of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, it, it might have been a seed planted. For, for the most part, most Jays just come by the camp. They hear the word for a minute. Satan comes and distracts them, and you don't see him ever again. Mm-hmm. Man. I got a quick precept. Con, con, you got it. This is um, Matthew 13 and verse 13. All right, and it reads, uh, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see not, and hearing they hear not, Neither do they understand, right, man? And it, pretty much, man, it, no matter how plain we make it to them, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai still creates that uh, um, a stumbling block for them, man. They they can't perceive it, man. All right, it, it's been blocked. All right, they they pretty much been rejected, man. All right, depending on how you come up to the camp, like the brother mentioned, you had one Jake that came up to the camp, you know. He tried to step in with the elders and stuff, and, you know, and, and, and he came pretty much wrong. And because he came wrong, you know, you had a br another brother. He was rejected at that moment. All right. At that right. moment and instant, man, just doing that, that just for mm -hmm. you to come up that way. You know, no matter if you was trying to be, you know, uh, however you was trying to do it. All right. You was rejected in that instant. All right. You was never able to perceive the truth, man. All right. Mm hmm. So kind, kind. That's how you know. Typically, it works out, man. You know, if you're not sincere, if you're not humble, if you don't come, you know, in the correct manner. That's right. Then you will get rejected by Yahweh by Shimei mm Hashem, -hmm. and that's why you know. As for us, we got to remain humble. That's right. We got to remain sincere. Okay, we got to keep enduring the things we go through, because, hey, we we're not exempt. Okay. Mm -hmm. The, um, another brother have another precept? I got another precept. Come on. We're just going to continue on in this mark. Well, I'm, I'm going to go to this precept right quick. This is 2 Corinthians 4 
in verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's right. Mm. And whom the world and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them, because they've been blinded by Christianity. Yep. Islam. Now you got certain Israelite camps talking about God loves everybody. That's Christianity, man. Mm -hmm. So you're 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 lost as well. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and that goes for other Israelite camps. So this, like the brother said, is ten forty four right now. Con. That's the spirit. Yep. Call along my lessons. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Call along me, Yahweh Shemel Shai, because hey, we got to stay on our toes, man. You know, we don't want to fall out. Me and this brother Zakari was talking about, you know, um. You know, you don't want, like, brothers been reiterating, like, Apostle Ricard been reiterating, reiterating. Don't let the woman take you out of the truth. Don't let your family take you out of the truth. Don't let your circumstance or your temporary situation take you out the truth, man. Mm -hmm. It's getting very serious out here. And then you don't want to get caught up into, it seems like through the spirit, you know, brothers been doing lessons on brotherly love. It shouldn't be mm -hmm. no schisms or no division out here unless you're going to be like these guys out here that are lost, man. Yep. This is very serious that we're in, and we we don't we're not just reading these scriptures just because we have to grasp these scriptures and understand them and apply them to our spirits. I'm speaking mm -hmm. to myself first and foremost. Yep. Because if you if you don't apply, you know, anything that's of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, you're applying everything that's of the flesh, man. The scripture says what? Um, give not you know the occasion of the flesh. Just roughly paraphrasing it, you know. And, and and that's why you gotta just remain humble. Can a brother get that um in Second Thessalonians, where it says and they and the, and the Most High shall send them a delusion that they should believe a lie. Oh, I got you. Kind the water, you know. And this is why you gotta stay humble because here it is. You might think you know something, but the Lord will set it set it up to where um you believe a lie, meaning what you trust in your own vain opinion. And the scriptures also talks about you know your own vain opinion. You know, just roughly paraphrasing that part, okay? Um, did you get it? Yeah, Second Thessalonians chapter two. St I'm gonna start at verse eight. Kai. No, verse seven. For the mystery of iniquity that have already worked, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Mm -hmm. and, and it says the mystery of iniquity. Here it is. We we're just talking about the, the mysteries of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. But you guys got so deep into iniquity, you guys know the mysteries of iniquity, man. Oh yeah, Jake knows. Jake knows how yeah. the mystery of iniquity. <laughs> you, you, hey, Jays know how to roll a blunt with one hand, all types of crazy stuff, man. Okay, you know, not to put you know the carnality of things on a pedestal, but it, this is the type of world we live in, man. Oh yeah. Okay, you got Jays doing crate challenges. You know, that's all types of madness and, and wickedness in that. Yeah. People having food competitions, making the best pork ribs, all types of stuff, man. Yeah, making, yeah, yeah, man. Making the best gator and, and cooking alligators yeah. and things of that sort. <laughs> Yeah, Jake is all the way off. Yeah, Jake got time for the mystery of sin, but don't have time to 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 get the parables of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. That's right. Okay, you got it out. Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians two and eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall mm -hmm. destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse nine, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. And that's what yep. America's about. Lying wonders. Believing that you can be somebody here. Now, if a brother's about his business, that's what it is. But just long, sustainable, uh, long run here in America, you're just going to be here forever. That's what Esau's point on people. That's why they can't see the things that we have not seen. Mm -hmm. Like the brother got the screenshot of the heavens. We haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. We just seen it through a phone, man. But we're looking to... Inhabit places that look like that Okay That's the difference between us And people who the gospel has been hid to yep. And Satan The spiritual demon Satan And his physical counterpart The male and female version Esau even the so called white man And the black woman Okay cause Satan Hey the black woman is Satan We'll just say that They have distracted the Israelite man From even believing that That's why we mentioned that camp When the Jake today came up to the camp It was a woman that got him out of the way Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Satan comes in he Satan means adversary. He comes in different forms. Mm-hmm. So yeah. continue on. It says Second Thessalonians two and ten. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish, but they receive not the love of the truth 
that they might be saved. They, yeah, these Jakes didn't not receive the love of the truth. It was like, all right, it's just another Bible that is preaching the Bible. I heard that before. Okay, well you didn't see, you didn't see the truth of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Verse eleven. Here's the point. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. A con. And and those are those what strongholds. Yeah. You know, people believe in what Jesus Christ, Buddha, Christianity. All right. People believe that they can marry a, a turtle, a, a bear, you know, that bestiality mentality. OK, people believe that their little girl can be a little boy. These are all different delusions and strongholds that 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 you guys are, are stuck in. Yes, right. And you how about Shah allows it because what we said it earlier, he doesn't love everybody. All right. Hey, a lot of you people was the, were, were the same individuals. Who was saying crucify him crucify him okay let his blood be on us and our children okay hey for every idle word man now the blood is on you and your children you you're dumbed down forever you're blinded forever man because you didn't want to believe in the one who was healing the sick all right who was healing the lame and these spiritual powers are coming too all right for, for a lot of you people information okay all these things are going to come about so what are you guys going to say now that you guys still don't believe well, according to prophecy, hey, you guys going to say that, man. Yeah, because the Lord is going <laughs> to show you all types of miracles. Yeah. And you're still not going to believe. You got Jason right. stuck in that. As the captain um, Abba barred out, they're still stuck in pan-Africanism, man. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of Jason that still listen to Umar Johnson. As we mentioned at camp, me, me and the brothers of Cardi mentioned, you still have a lot of Jakes uh, still under that stronghold of T.D. Jakes and Joel Osteen and Benny Hinn mm -hmm. and whoever evangelist Christian is out here. So it's going to be very easy for a, a ninja not to believe in that day. Con. And I was going to say, you know, the reason why you Jake's fall for those strong delusions and things of that sort, the reason why y'all getting them demons on you like that is because y'all rejected the, the heavenly father. Y'all mm -hmm. rejected Yahweh yep. by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, which is in Hosea um, chapter four and verse six. God. It said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of my of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Right, man. And as they increase, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. Right, man. Mm. Hey, man, y'all being changed. Hey, more and more each day, man, y'all being uh, becoming shame faced, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You know? Because you rejected Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Because you refused to hearken unto the prophets and the man of the Lord that he sent out to the hedges and the highways, man. Kind. Right? And, and if you reject life, you know, what do you accept? Death. That's right. Okay. That's why a lot of you people accept the the the, the ways of this type of living. This is not living. I, I don't even want to put the word living in there. <laughs> but this is not living, man. These, these are the ways of death, man. Smoking, eating pork, you know, committing adultery, ser serving other gods into different doctrines, okay? Believe, it's like you, believe in whatever you want to believe, okay? All right? So these are the things that you guys accept, but you guys reject that life, man. Mm -hmm. That's okay? Right. The scriptures say that they have made a covenant with death, and you see that by the, the paraphernalia that these people wear a lot of people wear uh hats and, and clothes and shoes with the skull <coughs> bones on it they say they're the savage they're a beast so they've already accepted that they're still that three-fifths of a human being that esau told them that they were mm -hmm. you know they they've accepted the fact that they're just gonna be niggas ends and bees all their life okay mm -hmm. it's gonna be a nigga i'm gonna work this warehouse job i'm gonna just smoke my pack you know i'm gonna sip my little scissor you know, I'm going to just be that nigga. I'm going to follow all the real nigga. I'm going to be a real nigga yeah, to the best of yeah. my ability. So these people have already been deceived, and they they, they don't want to get up out of that because it's, it's bringing them some form of comfort. But it ain't going to be comfortable when the missiles come, man. Because mm -hmm. right, they don't think that there's anything better than Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. They yep. don't think anything there's anything better than what Esau has to offer. That's why it says in the scripture also, roughly paraphrasing, ye are your father the devil. All right, because you follow at the Esau, you know your your wickedness increase. You know, you don't think that the heavenly Father is truly with you, and that's why it also says that you know, as um, uh, um, 
um, roughly paraphrasing, you know, it says that, you know, what Israel has not obtained that what you're seeking, you know, you're, you're seeking for the truth, but yet you have not found it, man. All right. Why? Because you've been rejecting the truth the whole time. All right. So, yeah, kind, yeah. kind. Yeah. Um, any brother got more precepts? Uh, we can finish out on this. Man. Okay. Kind. Ezekiel 33 and 33. Well, 33 and um, 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they come unto thee as a people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will do them not. I mean, excuse me, but they will not do them, for with their mouth they show much love. But their heart goes after their covetousness. Yeah, that's Jake, man. They give you this smooth talk. Just like Esau, man. You know, his words smoother than butter. Okay? <laughs> Jake, they will try to sweet talk you. Mm -hmm. Like they agree with you. But then they'll do the complete opposite. Yes, All right? Sir. Man, that's, that's Jake for you, man. Okay? Here it is, man. You, got, you have the opportunity to hear and to get the understanding. But you want to say, hey, don't come to us with this type of truth. Mm -hmm. we, want, we want smooth things. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we want the things of this world. That's right. But when we're trying to, you know, teach you through our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all the way on down, man. Okay. What the Lord has been trying to tell you people that you can get greater things, man. All right. You could be better than, than who you are now, man. You <laughs> could be, you could, you, you can conquer, man. You can conquer this old man. All right. You can beat this flesh. You could be a better version of you. You can upgrade. But Jake don't want that, man. Right. They want new port. They want. A slap of pork. <laughs> New pork. You know. God. They want that too. New pork cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? New pork. You know, you know, ribs and you know, all types of things, man. Jay. God. Yeah, that's why the Lord is not gonna put the spirit on Esau to give you reparations, cause you're gonna be far worse mm -hmm. than give you niggas some money. That's right. Yeah, kind. But um that's pretty much all you had? Uh I guess a little bit more. Okay, kind. Ezekiel thirty three. And 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice. Because we're singing a new song, but they mm -hmm. want to hear trap music. That's right. And can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Mm -hmm. They be on the pedal pub, you know that pub. I know a lot of you brothers in these cities, man, you see a pub full of drunk people on a bike pedaling up and down, listening to played out ass, played out ass songs from fucking 99 and 2000. That's right. Okay, yeah, nah. you see that in your city. You got people that's coming up. They're here for two seconds. It sounds very lovely, but they want to go back to the filth that they've been uh, mollowing, uh, wallowing in. Um, it says, verse 33, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. So mm -hmm. when all hell breaks loose, man, with them Hebrew Israelites, man, I heard Great Millstone had the truth, man. You know, where they at, man? Fuck. You know, God damn, where the hell they at, bro? On oh, God, on oh, my mama, man, they was over here. You know how you niggas talk, <laughs> okay? When all hell breaks loose, it's going to be too freaking late, man. We've yeah, already told man. you about martial law and the calamities, the famine, the pestilence. When there's tanks down these streets, then you're going to know that you fucked up. Mm -hmm. All right, because y'all rejected the truth. You should have been inquiring right then and there when yep. you heard it. Yep. Or, you know, when that seed was planted. You know, God. but instead you you reject it and that seed it, ne it never flourished to anything, all right, and yet it end up dying, you know. Kind, yeah, man. So, your little willing man, you know, this intrinsic was edifying, all right, and um, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, you know, if you believe, believe, man. If you don't, hey, Romans three and three, okay. But um, we're gonna close out by giving all honor and glory on two. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone once again. And peace, love, and salutations to your hopeful lips. Been pushing the truth, okay? Shalom. Shalom.